So some of you have asked how I shoot some of these videos, and I'm going to show you one of the things I'm doing today is I'm shooting a video uh, of the Honda Goldwing radio system and basically how it, how you set presets. Now what this means is I have to get a shot of the dash or of the uh, here, and as you can see, uh, there's quite a bit of reflection. I'm shooting this with my cell phone, but I'm actually going to be shooting the video with my uh, Panasonic Lumix, which I have here mounted to a C-stand and centered in such a way so that it's aiming uh, right at the dash in the center. So I've got a good center shot here, as you can see. Now, the reason I'm doing this outside is because when I did it in my garage, I get a lot of flicker on the screen. And um, I played around with lights, having no lights on, having fluorescent lights on, having LED lights on, and I just couldn't get rid of the flicker. It has something to do with the refresh rate of this Honda Goldwing dash screen, this TFT screen. So uh, we're going to do it outside, and that seems to get rid of the flicker, as you can see here. My other problem that I have to deal with is the amount of glare and reflection uh, that I'm getting on the screen. You can see it there. So I get a lot of reflection and uh, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, I do notice that if I put my hand up kind of high, I can see that reflection in the screen. And it, you know, it's kind of blocking that reflection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang a black um, piece of foam board behind the camera to kind of block that reflection because what I'm getting is the reflection of these bricks behind my house and that's showing up in the screen and it's not giving me the uh, image that I want so let's go put that C stand up with that uh, black foam board and I'll show you what I'm talking about so this is what we ended up with I've got the camera here on this C stand and I've got this black foam board hanging up behind the camera and what that's doing is that's blocking the reflection of that brick so that I don't get that reflection in the screen uh, while I'm shooting the video straight on. It does get rid of that. I also had to be concerned about the reflection of this bar coming across on the C-stand. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard on this little bitty screen on the camera to tell the result. So what I have to do is shoot a few seconds and then I take it into the computer and look at it on the computer to make sure it looks okay uh, before I shoot the whole sequence. So here was my final solution. I was still getting some glare even with the black foam board behind the camera. So what I did is I moved it in front of the camera and actually cut a hole for the lens. And that allowed me to get the shots of the radio screen without all of the glare and reflection. It was the only way I could finally get it to work even though it had worked the previous day, I didn't have to do this. I did today. And so this is basically what my setup ended up looking like. There is one other problem I've discovered, and that is it's a very cloudy day. And for some reason, if it's cloudy, you start getting this weird more or banding in the screen <laughs> with this camera um, again i've tried all different uh, frame rates 4k 1080p 720 i've tried them all and so what i have to do now is wait for some sunlight because we have overcast skies right now but when there is some sun breaking through the clouds that banding or that more goes away so I've got my rig all set up. All I need now is a little bit of sunlight. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.